Wraith Warden falls for ghostly <sighs> Can't you stay? I'm looking at the reply. See? Here. Miss Hanya said she's on her way. It appears we are all present. The spirit fairers who were supposed to report to Huo Huo mentioned they didn't see her today. I'll get straight to the point. I have no idea where Huo Huo may be. However, if we combine our efforts, we may be able to piece together some clues. Each of you are close to Huo Huo. Did you notice anything unusual about her yesterday? She's been down in the dumps ever since she lost tail. What if Hua Hua came across a lead today? Something that sounded like Tail's doing. Knowing her, she's probably gone looking for him. And yet, she didn't come to any of us for help. That's not like her. Given the type of person she is, if she did have any clues, she would seek out our help. If she hasn't shared anything with us, it means there is only one possibility.
Right. Maybe someone deceived her with news about Tail. Uh, told her she could only go alone. Sounds like a trick some nasty kidnapper would use. Cirrus. The only one who may have knowledge of Tail's whereabouts is Cirrus, whose plans were foiled due to Tail's actions. Even if Cirrus doesn't know where Tail is, given the shared history, they wouldn't hesitate to cause trouble. Let's go. We must try to squeeze some answers out of Cirrus. you have questions? Go on. Ask away. Huahua is missing. And I'm willing to bet you know something about it. How careless. <laughs> your companion vanishes right under your noses. And you fail to notice. Why am I the one you're pestering? The Ten Lords Commission might not be able to completely eradicate the Helio by, but we have plenty of ways of dealing with them. Ooh, how threatening. <laughs> Save your breath. I know your tactics. Let's cut to the chase. I do know something about it. I knew it! Believe it or not. When you were distracted, she came and found me. She asked me if I knew where Mr. Tail was, and I simply gave her a clue. She searched high and low, but came back empty-handed, of course. If only you could have seen her expression, simultaneously terrified and desperate to know more. <laughs> Utterly hilarious. In the end, I became fed up with her constant nagging. I told her that her beloved tail had splintered and been reduced to an ember without a single memory. 
You should have seen her face! <laughs> I started feeling sorry for her. Out of pity, I told her that her tail was hiding in Cloudford, preparing to flee the Sienjo on a star skiff. I also told her that the Ten Lords Commission was in the process of recapturing all the Heliobi. If she were to turn to you for help, Mr. Tail would be imprisoned, even if she managed to find him. Looks like she took the bait. Lies! You can't possibly know where Tail disappeared to. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But I have no doubt about one thing. My friends are ready and waiting for her in Cloudford. You should have faith in your friend. Perhaps Wawa is safe and sound. Perhaps she managed to subdue the Heliobi. If you rush to Cloudford, there's still a chance you might find her. Not good. Let's head to Cloudford quickly. The paperwork will have to wait. I'm coming with you. Still here, huh? Then I guess you're not too concerned about your friend. Looks like a Heliobus has taken control of her mind. This isn't just a Heliobus illusion. It's a complete sensory barrier, cutting off the individual from the outside world. In this case, even the harmonic chime won't work. This isn't something the healers at the Alchemy Commission can handle. I'll take Huo Huo back to the Ten Lords Commission. Perhaps they'll have an answer. As for now, I'm temporarily suspending the activities of the Ghost Hunting Squad. But... The situation has changed completely. Without the assistance of a judge, continuing would place all of you in grave danger. Defeating the purpose of the squad. But Miss Hanya, this is to save our friend. I know. I understand. But please, let the Ten Lords Commission deal with this. We'll find a way to extract this Heliobus from Huo Huo. Miss Hanya, tell me straight. Does the Ten Lords Commission actually have a solution? <sighs> we are not completely out of options. It might be possible to use another Heliobus to drive out the one that seized Huo Huo's mind. But why would a Heliobus ever want to help people? Wait. Miss Hanya, do you mean to say that... I've been keeping tail here all along. Wh what don't look so surprised, young lady. Surprised? Uh, Hua Hua has been worried sick trying to find you, and now something else has gone after her. You flaming furball! What the heck is going on? Did you know about this the whole time, Miss Hanya? As per our rules, any free-roaming Heliobus must be sealed away. I was merely following protocol. Besides, it was Tail who requested this. 
It's a long story. I only recall a moment during that fateful night when my consciousness was on the verge of shattering into a million pieces. Time stood still. I watched myself parting from Ignamar, drifting without purpose. Then, before I knew what had happened, the girl had retrieved me, and a judge of the Ten Lords Commission had shielded me within a tail. I believe you humans call this kind of thing an end-of-life experience. But why would a Heliobus experience one of those? Ridiculous. Since I'd slipped the leash, I thought I might as well change bodies and savor a bit of freedom. But then... Uh... Lucky for you, you met me. My luck took a sour turn when I ran into this demoness. I mean, Judge. When I was with Hua Hua, she constantly rant about me, whining about all the problems I caused her, how I'd ruined her life. <laughs> uh, it was only after I vanished that she realized she'd taken my power for granted. I wanted to hear her cry about it. So, in a fit of anger, I had this demon, a judge, imprison me in the gourd. You have had your wish. Now, I'm offering you a chance to regain your freedom. Not by letting you go, but by going back to the way things were. Do we have a deal? Take out those other pesky Heliobi, right? Time to give this heedless creature a reality check. <laughs> it's exorcism o'clock! You are, but you're not my Hua Hua. Keep that filthy thing you're carrying away from me. But I'm still me. I'm the one in control. It's just a matter of time before it takes control of you. I'm sorry, Hua Hua. Your father and I had no choice but to send you to the Ten Lords Commission. Oh, it's best if you pretend we never existed. Sparkler. 
Your parents don't want you anymore. You should be the one feeling sorry. We shouldn't be talking to a monster anyway. Let's get out of here. What? I'm not a monster. <laughs> what should I do? Bring this one back. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's better that you pretend mom and dad are no longer here. How can your own flesh and blood be so heartless? These humans. Bring this one back. Why does 
this wolf will get so much attention. I'm going to get everyone to ignore her. Ugh, the behavior of these brats is astounding. See if you could manage on your own, or if you were still a scary cat. I'm sorry. I guess I still am. No! You're selling yourself short. You're daring. How you had the courage to do something so dangerous amazes me. It's not bravery you lack, but sense. was deceiving me, but the thought of losing you forever was... Uh, unbearable. Can't forget about all that. I'm here now. But... Did everyone really leave you because of me? put it like that, I suppose I have nothing to feel guilty about anymore. <laughs> uh, well, somebody needs to keep you out of trouble. Speaking of which, there's a pesky Heliobus lurking right here. I'm coming for you. Don't even think about escaping. Trickier to crack. Damage. My 
turn. They clearly didn't expect Tail to return to Huo Huo. Their plan to kidnap her was an utter failure. If they saw Huo Huo as she is now, it would break their will. Madam Hanya, urgent news from Fixtral Garden. The subdued Helium by are stirring again. Cirrus may not know the location of Tail, but they still figured out a way to divert everyone's attention. Cirrus may come across as hot-headed and impulsive, but under the surface, they are actually full of guile. No wonder they like to use analogies such as pawns and chess to describe people. One momentary lapse of concentration, and suddenly we find ourselves backed into a corner. It looks like the end game that General Jing Yuan has been trying to avoid is fast approaching. Su Shang, Please head to the seat of Divine Foresight and fetch the General. Let's hurry back to Fixtral Garden now, while there's still a chance to turn things around. It's time to teach Cirrus a lesson. Matrix is still intact. The Heliobi cannot leave Fixtral Garden. You may think you have the upper hand, but you're nothing more than a caged animal. You will never leave here. Leave? That was never my plan. I came to Fixtral Garden for one reason and one reason alone to fight the Lofu's formidable general. He seemed fond of playing the waiting game. I merely capitalized on that. Well, you were all out on a wild goose chase. 
I rallied other Heliobi to my cause, thereby increasing my strength. Thanks to all of you, I've amassed the power of every Heliobus sealed within Fixtral Garden. All I need to do now is wait for the General to make his grand entrance. Before that happens, I should keep my end of the bargain. Destroying you without leaving a trace. regardless of how powerful they are. So, just like what happened to Ignamar, once a Heliobus realizes they're going to lose, they'll shatter? Exactly. And if there's anyone who can cause Cirrus to shatter, it's him. So, General, you finally decided to show up. Ready to face the music? Defeat my army and I'll give you the rematch you seek. My words hold true. As I mentioned previously, when Tang Xiao and Ignamar fought, the scales were balanced. But for you, Cirrus, this game was never about fairness, was it? And yet here we are. My power decidedly outmatches yours. Notions of rules and equal competition are mere illusions. Now, if you don't mind, allow me to show you how the endgame is played. Trickier to crack. Lance the blaze! Optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. More enemies. 
strategize such a fierce battle against one of the Rainbow Arbiter's generals. Uh, listening to a winner feign humility is enough to make one sick. The Heliobi may reflect our desires, but their fervent blaze is undeniably awe-inspiring. Neither General Tung Xiao nor myself would deride such a foe. 
I have been bested. It's true. I only sought to lock horns with you, regardless of victory or defeat. Next, I'll... Next is eternal punishment. For an inextinguishable flame such as yourself, I see no punishment more fitting than to see you confined to a vacant abyss, forever lamenting your past transgressions. Such is the fate that awaits you, Cirrus. <laughs> so be it. Mountains will crumble. Oceans will evaporate, but the Heliobi will always be there, patiently waiting for their day of freedom. And that day will come. As long as the generals of the Sienjo live, my battle against them will continue. Until the stars themselves burn. Cyrus's will to fight has been shattered. It can no longer pose a threat. Considering that everything here is now under control, I'll take my leave. fulfilled my duty and kept my promise to Cirrus. But the Heliobus we dealt with will not be easily dismissed. Given sufficient time, and regardless of how slim the odds are, they will someday break the seal that binds them. However, that concern will fall to the generals of the future. One cannot help but wonder how many lawful generals this fragment of Ignamar will face in times to come. Speaking purely from the perspective of a warrior, I must say, I feel somewhat envious. That it may be, but they cause no shortage of trouble. Perhaps I could glean some wisdom from the Sienjo Juni. This excursion was not an official matter. I didn't report it to the counselors. What remains of it will be left to the Ten Lords Commission. And once matters have concluded, I believe everyone present will be duly rewarded. And as for you and the young Miss Gwynaifen, Rest assured, you won't be shortchanged. You see, helping the general of the Law Fu does have its purpose. <laughs> it's time I took my leave. Farewell. to 
catch Helio by on the run. The ten You're here. I've just finished reinscribing the seal on Huohua's tail. Next, it's time to address the matter of Cirrus. <laughs> what do you know? This is between me and the Ten Lords Commission. The non-aggression pact, if you like. According to the Ten Lords, Tail must be supervised by a judge. <laughs> I'll make sure to take good care of Mr. Tail. <laughs> Let's see who takes care of who. Mm, besides, when Mr. Tail isn't around, the other Heliobi pick on me. I feel safer when Tail is here. <laughs> other Heliobi? I'm the only Heliobus you need to worry about. Well then, I will take care of the Sira situation. As for what gets written in the Lawfu's ghostly grove, I'll leave that up to you. One more thing. Don't forget to seal the Heliobi within the evil binding matrix. for getting into trouble. Do you think she was being sarcastic? What could be more important than protecting the Xianzhou from the threat of Heliobi? <laughs> Quit worrying, Su Shang. You've been an awesome squad member and a very talented sleepyhead. Now, let's think about what to publish on Ghostly Grove. This is huge news. This post will definitely boost our following. Oh, I 
he's on the hunt for more followers. It's called professionalism, all right? I'm counting on you. hunting squad can now rest easy for a while. Speaking as a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, I must thank you all for the dedication you've shown these past few days. You really minimized the impact of the Heliobi crisis. There may have been a few Heliobi that slipped through the net, but they are of no major concern. Leave them to us. I don't want to brag. But our articles on Ghostly Grove are the talk of the town. If we suddenly stopped uploading, it'd be pretty unfair to our audience. Miss Gwei. Madam Hanya, please let little Gwei carry on uploading. I can't fall asleep without browsing Ghostly Grove before bed. Hmm. You seem pretty set on this, so I won't stand in your way. However, bear in mind that... Don't worry. We promise not to make your job any harder than it already is. Thank <laughs> you. 